Hi, Mary. Hi, Angelina. So today we're going to do a really short recording about a very cool thing that we both. Now, the idea is really simple. We want to generate a summary for each page of a PDF document. Instead of chunking, we're just looking every page by page. What's the gist of each page for potentially long PDF document? And we've written a Jupyter notebook, and we'll share the link on Colab in the description if you're interested. There are less than 20 lines of code. We'll hand it over to Professor Mehdi. Definitely. So let me share my screen. And what's our tagline should be? Our tagline should be no llama index and no luncheon. Simple implementation. That was the idea, right. actually. The original right. idea of this simple application came from uh, Twitter. Some people asked this question, is there a tool to just summarize each page of a research paper instead of just summarizing the entire paper? Okay, you do not need any library like Llama Index or Langchain. You can simply put together native libraries and write the code. Um, so this is the code, very short. Um, and the thing that you need, let's say if you have a research paper, and in this case, I have this paper, and I would like to summarize each page of the paper. In this particular use case, I am using OpenAI if you want to use some open source models like O1, other, you know, and frameworks, then you have to add extra code to be able to accommodate for that. But here, what you need to do, the libraries, you need to read the PDF and extract the text. So you need some kind of PDF reader, and then you can use OpenAI native library or another library to call the LLM for your task. So there are two different steps here. Um, so I'm using this light LLM, which is like a very lightweight library on top of OpenAI. I didn't need to use this, but in, in, so later on, if I wanted to add more features like async calling and batch calling and things like that, this library is a good library. Otherwise, I could simply just use OpenAI. So let me explain the code very briefly how that works. You need to have your OpenAI key in environment variables, and then downloaded this page, this research paper. So it is right here. And I give the path of this PDF file and then read it. So in this four lines, it will read the file, the PDF file, and then print how many pages this PDF has. You can see that it has 27 pages. And then this is my simple prompt. Okay. Summarize the given text below and your summary must be, let's say less than 100 words with the placeholder for the tags in this piece of code. I am doing it for the first page. So I will read the first page of that PDF and extract the text from that. And then if you're following open AI API format, you need like a list of messages where you have two keys. There is a role and there is a content. So two messages, one is for the system, right? That you are an expert in summarizing research papers. And then for the user, which is essentially, I generate a message using this prompt here. And then call the open AI completion function, pass the, mo the model and the messages. You can even restrict the number of tokens. So it will just call the open AI API. It will generate the summary and return it just printed out here. This paper explores using large language models to write the structure articles, things like that. So that's for the first page, but let's say you want to do it for every single page. You just simply need a for loop to iterate over each page and repeat this process. So a simple for loop here, go over each one of the pages and then extract the page, generate the messages, and then all the open AI, get the summary, print it out, repeat. So if I execute this, it's going to run that for 27 pages. So let me just do it for the th three pages instead of 27 pages. So these are the summaries. 
And this is a very simple code for bring this, get the summarization of a, a research paper page by page. But let's say if you want to um, read the page and download it online, instead of just download the page, locally load the document, you can write a function to, to download it from archive, for example, automatically. Or another feature that you could add is in, use an open source model instead of open AI. This code is just a very simple code showing that you can literally just write your own code to take care of the apps that you need, and you don't need any particular libraries like Llama Index or Lanch. This is a very lightweight implementation. The bulk of the code is the for loop, which is only 18 lines of code with the blank rows, right? Even with the import library and all that, it's less than 25 rows of code. But this is a very interesting request. Why would people even want this? Like, why would you want to read summaries page by page? This is an interesting request, even though, you know. Um, I can think of some use cases. So let's say if you are a student and if you want to review a paper. You want to be lazy. But you don't want to read the entire paper. However, you want to, let's say, just skim through the paper, maybe page by page. So this is a good mm. way. Another thing that potential use case is if you want to create a tutorial from a research paper, for example, if you can summarize each page and then, for example, create a tutorial, add some even images from the paper, things like that, that could be another use case. But yeah. Um, could be, could be. I got the idea, initial idea, yeah, from, from Twitter. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Thank remember you. to, one last thing, remember to subscribe to our channel, To Set AI. We will bring you more content about AI and we're in business to help you overcome the, what is it called? AI FOMO. Later.